Hi, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. I'm going to show you today the latest addition to our BML line, which is the Low Winds Library. And this has three fabulous characterful instruments uh, to add to your compositions. The bass flute, the bass clarinet, and the contrabass clarinet. Um, and it has all of the kind of essential articulations that you would need for writing with these three instruments. So we're going to leap right in. We'll start with the bass flute, and we'll start with staccato. I've got the outrigger mics loaded up, and that sounds like this. And you can hear that as I hit the keyboard slightly harder, you get an overblow sound, um, which is incredibly useful as well. So before we move on, I'm just going to very quickly show you the different mics. So the close mics sound like this. And then we've got the Decca Tree, which sounds like this. And then we've got our ambient, oops, our ambient mics that sound like this. And then back to the outriggers for the other articulation. So let's have a listen to the tenuto marking. Tenuto sound sounds like this. So that's a kind of longer, a longer short note. And then we've got our legato, which um, I'm going to control uh, the dynamics and the vibrato using these control skills. And you can hear from that, it's very agile. So that's the legato. We've got our long notes on their own for just normal kind of uh, multiple parts. Um, and then we've got our uh, long overblown note, which is obviously a full on sound. We've got our flutter tongue, another characterful flute sound. So that's the bass flute. Let's move on to the bass clarinet. And we're going to, again, we'll start up with the outrigger mics. The outrigger mics give you um, the, a similar sound to the tree, but it's a slightly wider sound. Um, so we'll start, we'll do the same, same procedure. We'll start with the staccato. <laughs> got our slightly longer tenuto. We've got our legato, again controlling the dynamics and the vibrato. And again, we're very agile on the uh, on this one. Well, as agile as the bass clarinet actually is. But <laughs> So let's move on and have a listen to the long notes and play a few chords. And then obviously down the bottom. So it's a great, very, very expressive instrument. Full control over everything, over the vibrato and dynamics in real time. So let's have a quick listen to the contrabass clarinet. Um, and again, we will start with our outrigger mics. And then if we have a quick listen to the tenuto. And then we go for a slightly longer one on this one as well, a marcato. And then we've got our legato again, uh, same controls. And we can go, uh, we just hear it playing slightly more agile with the non -gib. And Then if we, oh, I'll show you, you can also play obviously very quietly.
So again, you've got a lot of control over dynamic, over expression with these instruments. Um, the final thing is to have a quick listen to the long notes on their own. Let's see if we can get some nice chords going. So you can you get the idea. It's um, it's a lovely and fat. Uh, low sound. So these instruments are incredibly useful for um, your orchestrations, for filling out the bottom end um, and really giving an extra power and thump to the bottom end there. You can also write very finely textured, soft music with these as well, and you can get those really beautiful um, blossoming low chords. Uh, they're very, very transparent. It's There's nothing muddy about this stuff at all. It's clean, pure, transparent sounds. And they, you can use them orchestration-wise, you can use them in a similar way to you, the way you might use a trombone choir in doing that kind of low, soft um, block, blocks of chords, uh, the orchestrating amongst these low wind instruments. Really does sound fantastic. Very, very beautiful. Um, and you've got a, a lot of control over, you know, when you bring in the vibrato, how it kind of swells and fades. Full control as you're actually composing and as you're playing. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's our low wind library. And uh, thank you for watching and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye bye.